We look back at some of the most impactful weather events of the year right here in the Northeast. Christina, you are here with a look at the extremes, the records, and even the rare events we saw. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Liz. It was a wild year for New England with extremes, severe weather, and some of these forever altered landscapes across the Northeast. So let's look at the top five weather events that we saw. The first actually spans back to the winter time, the winter of 2022 and 2023. We saw one of the least snowiest winters on record because of the La Nina milder weather pattern pattern in place, so we ended up tying for the eighth, eighth least snowfall in Rhode Island. Second, following that record dry winter, likely the cause that dry weather, we saw the largest wildfire in the smallest states past 40 years, sparking up 700 acres of land in Exeter. Third, more wildfires, but this time it was Canada that left us smoky. Canada had their worst ever wildfire season that raged, in some cases uncontained, ranging from Quebec to Nova Scotia for weeks on end. And of course, we here in the Northeast bared the brunt of it. Some of our viewers sending, sending us in photos during that time of those skies that were completely smoke covered. And we had air quality alerts in place for a number of days. Our beautifully dry summer days left us staying indoors in some cases to escape that unhealthy air. Number four is category five Hurricane Lee. So it didn't actually make landfall in the US, but it grazed the northeast coast, wreaking havoc with flooded roadways in Rhode Island, significant beach erosion for us too, and massive flooding. Like this photo here taken in Lemonster, Massachusetts, and roadways in Vermont saw almost a foot of rainfall all at once that destroyed roadways and ruined crops there as well. Finally, number five goes down in history as one of the largest tornado outbreaks for southern New England. In a matter of three hours, five tornadoes touched down in August. And they ranged from an EF0 to an EF2 tornado. Maybe you remember this one because we saw videos of the tornado crossing over Route 295. And just under a month later in September, this time during the evening, a few more tornadoes touched down. So it's very rare to see almost a dozen tornadoes in one season. So obviously the year's not done yet. It's possible that this year will go down as one of the wettest for Rhode Island and the warmest year in U.S. history and globally.